faster than me. Yeah, going slow. That's what she says. Welcome back to the channel. I may not be a professional crashman, but I know how to fall. I'm going to let Quentin explain you everything about protection. I don't like wearing protections, but man, it could save you holidays. It could save you so many things. So don't be silly. Take, take your credit card, go to the nearest shop and buy protections. As always, stay safe. Whew, it's hot today. All right, good morning, brothers and sisters. Quinton here from the MTR Brothers. And today uh, I am answering a community demand. You've been so many uh, to ask what gears do we use when we write. I am going to be 100% uh, unbiased objective because we don't sell any of these. All so, right, uh, it's really handy to have uh, a big bag where everything has uh, a place. You have one for your helmet, one for your boots, and some room for about everything. So 24MX, uh, they do that. This one is a Fox, it's a bit slightly more expensive, obviously, but it's it works exactly the same. First of all, socks, because last time, obviously this is summer and I came barefoot, and I'm gonna tell you, in the boots, it was not uh, nice to look at. All right, so, after that, see? after that, this one is optional. You have uh, bones over there, so always good to have. Uh, what I like is this uh, flexible thing. It's called D3O, and it's really nice because unlike uh, you know the hard plastic ones, uh, it feels uh, yeah. You don't really feel it when it's on you because you can still freely move. It doesn't prevent you from moving. So it's really cool. Uh, now, some of you might feel that the hard plastic ones, uh, for instance, my brother that falls and crashes a lot, feels that it's, uh, the plastic ones are a bit more protective. These are, um, have a normal ligation even for, for competition. So And, and for the road. Not for the road. And even for the road, uh, I've been told. This is uh, Scott and this is Leet. But you have other brands and D3O is always kind of like Teflon, you know? Uh, it's a branded thing uh, that exists uh, under different brands. Now, any uh, MX uh, fence, it's gonna, it's gonna do. Also, a note for you guys and for myself uh, for the summer. Try to find some clear colors because even before hopping on the bike, I'm super hot already. I think uh, I'm a bit too fat nowadays. So you have the boots. Uh, a lot of you, like myself, are coming from mountain bike. And it's a bit tempting to go with, uh, you know, either um, sneakers or mountain bike shoes but honestly, trust me, go with motor boots, uh, especially if you ride enduro where you have rocks and everything. If it's only for the bike park, maybe at your own peril. We definitely love former for the ones that don't come from motorbiking. You feel free in these compared to uh, usual uh, dirt bike ones. These, the full size, they come with uh, a reinforced metal plate that you can install or not. I haven't because I don't care. Terra Forma Terra Evo. 
and uh, you have the others uh, the low ones and they are called the adventures low they are pretty cool also now i have migrated from the low ones to the full size because i got accustomed to it a bit more protective at the beginning i was uh forced to get the the full size ones because the low ones are uh, they're not allowed for competition so i got these and i'm so happy with them that in the end i only use these now on top of that uh, i use these uh, it's a uh, full protected forearms shoulders your back your ribs i fall a lot so even if my handlebars uh, crash into my ribs i'm kind of protected uh, this is scott again with d3o sometimes it feels a bit hard in winter because the d3o gets harder uh, when it's really cold so if you stored it and it's cold which is not the case today really i, I can tell um it's hard and then uh, it gets better when it's on you because you are warm then again some of you might prefer uh only the back some of you might prefer the hard plastic i think that this one is a really good one it's uh really well protects you everywhere and you're free to move you know um so i love that any t-shirt will do motorbike ones or uh, even uh mountain bike ones usually motorbikes are a bit more ample because uh they can uh um house the underside uh the protections that you have underneath yeah this one is busted because as i said i crash sometimes not really often but sometimes i don't have any brands specifically in mind but i love the mountain bike ones uh especially during the summer they are lighter and they have more vents so yeah when it's hot it's really nice to have a lot of airflow in, in your face for the competitions uh you have to have a proper dirt bike helmet with uh it depends and maybe in the us it's different but there's a marking uh and if you don't have that you won't be able to uh pass the uh examination at the very beginning in winter uh also uh if it's really cold outside yeah it's uh better to have dirt bike because yeah, it holds the, the warm. Last but not least, especially in the hot summer days, a bag with some equipment and water. Uh, some won't agree with that, but motorbike uh, is a sport. And yes, you get tired. Yes, you get sweaty. Uh, and definitely you get thirsty, especially if you run out of battery. And that's because you don't have an empty battery yet <laughs> we don't have a specific brand in mind uh this one is good it's a uh, evoc um and yeah on the track you don't need to have it on the back because it's added weight uh, and you fit it when you jump but get some water it's very important guys so with the helmet comes the goggles or the mask depending on where you're from uh as a mountain biker i don't really like that because I feel like I'm seeing the reality through a screen, like, I, like if I were on TV, you know? Uh, but when you are following closely, it's absolutely required uh, because flying rocks, dust, uh, dirt, whatever, don't use it where you don't need to. Uh, you can put it like that on the rear of the helmet. Most of the time I have it like that. And so I have an airflow and feel more I feel more present uh, with the air and everything in my eyes. If you hit a branch full speed through your eyes, uh, you will be a one-eyed person after that. So yeah, important. Probably the last thing are the gloves. Uh, you know, some people, depending, I guess, on how you, you hold your bars, uh, they need donuts because they get uh, rubbed here uh, against the... Um, the finger uh the thumb some of those i don't know because we hold it um i don't know tighter with your hand with our hands uh i need these uh because then it rubs here and after a while uh my skin uh gets really irritated uh up to the point that i don't have a skin anymore with that uh under the gloves it's just perfect and i can ride all day see and uh on that guys thank you for watching and see you later cheers